Welcome back to this day. Joining me now from the Coach House in San Juan Capistrano is Doug Starks. Hello. Doug, so nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you for Good coming to be in. Here. Good to be yeah. Here. So I, you must be a music lover or performer or something that I'm, I'm all of that to get involved at, yeah. with the Coach House. Yeah. How long have you been with them? I have been associated with the Coach House for over 30 years. Okay. Um, yeah. So, but for the last like eight and a half years, I've been more involved on site. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's an amazing place if you've never been there, and you probably have. I've been there a few times, uh, yes. It's the oldest uh, running concert venue in the country that's never changed hands. It's never changed hands, and it's legendary. It's been uh, 43 years. Wow. Everybody from Ray Charles, B.B. King, Pat Boone's coming, um, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Miles Davis, Chick Corea, Natalie Cole, Phoebe Snow, everybody's been there. Now, and Coach House was created to be like a platform for new artists, but then also established artists come in as well. Yeah, when the Coach House first started, it was actually a restaurant that had country music where you could actually cook your own steak. No way. So it's evolved into uh, uh, to a concert venue, and the positioning of it is excellent because it's right in between Los Angeles and San Diego, and most touring artists have either one of those destinations on their tour route, so the Coach House is perfect for getting an yeah. intimate setting of uh, some really great headliners. Now, do you have more up and coming or established? Like, what, what is the ratio for? We have a mixture, and yeah. it's a pretty fair ratio of up and coming, uh, established, um, different genres like tribute artists, which, which we do a lot of. So, yeah. That's what I was going to ask. It seems to me, anyway, nowadays, like there's many more tribute bands. Like, yeah. has. Has the audience changed in what they prefer? Well, <laughs> honestly, I don't know that the audience has changed, but I know that some of the artists, Pat Boone is rare. He's been doing this for 70 years. A lot of artists haven't had that type of longevity for either popularity or even physicality. They weren't able to do it. So Yeah, you don't get Mick bands, Jaggers too yeah. often. <laughs> no, you don't. You certainly don't. So tribute bands capture the music and they capture the essence of the artist uh, in their primes. Yeah. So it's always good to see. Yeah. I, every time I've been there, it's always been so much fun. And especially, I think I went on a Halloween one year, and then everybody was in costume. Oh, nice. And so that was yeah. a lot of fun, I too. I was there. You probably didn't recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys doing something big for Halloween this year? Um, every, every year, Halloween is a, is a big thing at the Coach House. Yeah. And people love to come out in costumes. So, yeah. And now, what's your background? So you said you're, you were a performer I'm as well? I'm a former Miss San Diego. I don't want to talk about the wardrobe malfunction that caused me to be eliminated, but uh, oh. no, I, <laughs> I'm uh -oh. a stand-up comedian. I'm a writer. I've written for television, film. I've written for comedians like Jay Leno, Gary Shandling, Jeff Foxworthy, George Wallace. Uh, I'm an actor. I'm a singer. Okay. Uh, former headliner in Las Vegas. I played in the Rat Pack is back on the strip for like over 13 years. And, wow. And I love entertainment, so that's why I'm around the coach house. Yeah. What has been for you the, the biggest moment in your career that you're like, pinch me, I can't believe mm. I'm doing this? Working with the Temptations. Yeah. Yeah, opening up for them, opening up for Smokey Robinson and Julio Iglesias. Yeah. And now, but you said you do comedy as well. I do. So what do you what do you prefer the most? Singing, I love comedy, it all. I love anything. It all. Yeah, I love it all. Now, any stories about Jay Leno? I, I heard Jay he has always worked so many hours. Yeah, he's, crazy. he's a gracious man, and he's brilliantly and just he's always quick. He's always quick. He's just he's a very generous man, and uh, yeah, very kind and very focused. Yeah. Yeah. What do you look for when you're booking acts for Coach House? What are the type? I, I would imagine you're trying to reach so many different types of audiences, but what do you, is it mostly music? Is, is there comedy acts? There is comedy. There's a variety of things that come to the Coach House. And the goal is to serve the community. Uh, that's why we do so many different genres, so many different types, so many different you know, culturally relevant music, um, just to serve the community. And the size of the venue allows us to serve what would be otherwise considered an underserved demographic. So, um, like the demographic for Pat Boone, and we're perfect there. And, uh, and it's a great size venue, so it doesn't have to be so loud, so you're disturbed by the volume of the venue because it's easy to fill that room with sound. And yeah. the sound technicians are sensitive and awesome. So. 
That's it's a great place the, to be. Yeah, that's one of the nice things about it is is it, it is an intimate setting. Yeah. You, there's no bad seat in the house, yeah. and you feel like you're really a part of, exactly. of the show. Yeah. If you have ever thought about having Pat Boone perform in your living room, the coach house is the next best thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the Pat Boone. When is this event coming up? October 21st, and, um, and it's amazing. Pat Boone has been in the business for 70 years. He recorded his first uh, single in 1953. Wow. Yeah. So that's just when he recorded. So you know he had to start before then. Yes. So And he's still performing. Uh, I believe he's 86 years old. And uh, yeah, Good he's a legend. Yeah. So it's only fitting that he be at the Coach House. Absolutely. Yeah. And now I'm assuming there's a band with him as yes. the backup singers. Yeah. yeah, he has a full he show. He has a full show. Yeah. Yeah. And now, will there be any opening acts or anything there like that? There will be an opening act, and uh, that information I do not have. But okay. every act that hits the Coach House stage is very entertaining. And, yeah. And one of the it. nice things about it, too, is that it's it's a whole experience of the evening because you can, uh, you know, make reservations for dinner as well. Yeah, you can. And so that's super nice that it's, you're not like, oh, if I'm at some restaurant, oh, my gosh, I have to hurry. I'm not going to get there in time yeah. or, or whatever. So Which is one of the rare features about the Coach House because they have great food. <laughs> they have yeah. great food. So you can have a complete experience there. And you're always around. I mean, you know. The proximity with other people is a great energy because you get blended into this energy and you'll meet people. People, there's a whole social aspect about the Coach House. It's not just an entertainment venue, it's an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming today. And, thank you. And telling us about this. It and sounds like I, a great show. I brought you free tickets what? to come see you. Okay, Pat Brown. Yes. awesome. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. We're expecting to see you there. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you. Right on. Thank All you for right. having me. So nice to meet you. So for a great evening out, please contact the Coach House for tickets and dinner reservations. They're just a hop skip away in San Juan Capistrano, and you can contact them at 949-496-8930. Stay with us. We have movie uh, previews, announcements, and more coming up on this day.